All right, so in the last lecture, we were able to display the map on the screen, but we were never able to display our location. And that is very, very important. When you are using any kind of a mapping application, whether it is Google Maps or Uber or Lyft or Apple Maps or Waze, they always show you your current location. So let's see how we can display our current location in the simulator. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this part of code, 18, 19 till 21. Um, it's just adding a few lines. I mean, we don't want that. I mean, we're not really doing anything with that. So there we go. It's removed. Now, we already added, as you can see, a map view control, which is on our storyboard, but it is not really linked to our view controller. And we can use an IB outlet for that purpose. So let's go ahead and create an IB outlet. Week, var, and we will call that particular instance map view, but this is completely up to you, whatever you want to call it. And this will be of type MK map view control. Now it will complain that it doesn't really know anything about MK map view control. That's because it's in a different framework. So let's go ahead and import that module. We're going to say, the map kit, all right, and now say uh, MK map view control. And now you'll see that it's fine. You can use the MK map view control because we have already imported that particular framework. Now let's go back to our storyboard and try to link this to our view controller IB outlet. I'm gonna just right click over here and I can see the map view control that we just added and just drag it and then connect it with a map view control. And there we go. You can see the connection made over here. Okay. All right. Now we can go back over here and try to do something so that we can get user's location displayed on the map. For that, you will need a something called a location manager. For that, let's go ahead and import the location manager or core location framework. I'm gonna go ahead and create a variable for core location manager. I will call this location manager equals to CL location manager. And I'm just gonna simply initialize it. All right, let's go ahead and build that so that everything is fine. All right, good. I'm also going to use a protocol which is called CL location manager delegate. And you will see this more in the future, but basically all the different events that are going to happen, which are related to your location, whether you're entering into a geofence area, whether the location has started or failed, all of these different events are, are delegate events you can capture or handle using the CL location manager delegate. Let's go ahead and set the delegate to location manager dot delegate equals to self so that we are telling it that the view controller will be the delegate. So all of the delegate function will be handled by the view controller, hence the self. Now, next, what we're gonna do is set up some sort of accuracy. So desired accuracy equals to KC LL location. You can see actually, here we go, location accuracy best. Now, what exactly are these different kind of accuracies? Well, different kind of accuracies perform different functions. I'm gonna select accuracy best because I want the best accuracy when the location manager is trying to find my current location or any other location. Now, the downside of using the best accuracy is that it might take a little bit more time and effort, which in this case also means that it's going to drain the best battery a little bit more faster, all right? But from my usage, it okay, it's okay to use location accuracy best. It really depends on the app that you're building. But in our case, I'm just gonna use location accuracy best, but you can also use accuracy kilometer, 100 meters, and so on. The other thing that I'm gonna go ahead and set is the distance filter. The distance filter is basically, as it said, the minimum distance a device must move before an event has been dispatched. So before it start tracking its location. So for that, I'm just gonna say distance filter none because I'm not interested in that. And finally, I'm gonna say location manager 
dot start updating the location. So the location manager will become active and start updating the location. And if you want to see your location on the map, then you should also use the map view dot show users location equals to true. Remember that location manager is very different from a map view control. Uh, location manager is trying to find your location and doing everything with the location, but it doesn't control what user interface or how you display something on the map view. That is the basically the job of the map view control. So anything visual that you see on the screen, annotations, uh, you'll see like heading directions into or changing the user to something else uh, or pins, that is all part of the map view control. All right, so all of these things are set up. Now let's go ahead and run it and we'll see that if it actually shows it our location or not. So it definitely is loading the map, um, but I don't really see any location anywhere. If there was a location, our location being displayed, then we should see it's kind of like a blue circle with uh, you know, a emitting blue circle somewhere, or something at least, but I don't see anything. And uh, since I'm in US, I'm only looking at this area and you can see there's nothing really there. So what exactly is going on? If you see on the console over here in the output, it also doesn't really give you any kind of a message. This is something related to the insets and all that stuff. We don't really care about these things right now, but it is not really giving you any indication that why your user location was never shown, all right? So the reason that your location is not never shown is related to requesting the authorization to use the location. And that is exactly what we are gonna cover in the next lecture.